If you think wheelchair basketball is easy, well, think again. About 20 volunteers from various broadcasting and print media companies squared off against each other on Monday morning in the Variety Village Media Challenge to raise awareness for the cause. Oh! Team Toronto Sun were up against some pretty tough competition from four other local media outlets. Uh, I'm terrified of heights, so this is probably not a good thing for me to do. There were five challenges that each team had 12 minutes to complete, including high ropes, wheelchair assembly and basketball, taekwondo, marble pipes, and relay race. So what our plan was here today was to show the media uh, the different types of activities that we do uh, with all of our participants that uh, come in here and all of our members, trying to give them a sense of who we are, what we do, and where their money's going towards, because everybody wants to know whenever they're donating of where it's going. While the paper didn't bring home the trophy, which went to SNAP, it was just as important to bring awareness to Variety Village, which serves over 6,000 members of all ages. And it's a big deal for us as, you know, the Sun and uh, Sun readers have been huge supporters of Variety Village. George Gross started here and he raised more than a million dollars himself and Mike Strobel is picking that up with the Variety Village Fund every Christmas season. So it's a big deal for us to be here and see how it's done and uh, see the amazing people who run the place too. Right? The charity is also gearing up for Tuesday's Pizza Nova Day, where $1 from every $4.99 medium pizza is donated for the not-for-profit organization. For Toronto Sun, I'm Jenny Ewan.